Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is October 9th and there is yet another Samsung software update that's being pushed out. This time it's on the Galaxy S20 and the interesting thing was I just updated this one about three or four days ago. Now when you scroll down here, you can see it's pretty small at 209 megabytes. This one ends in that BTIG and that's what this one right here is being updated to. Now let me show you something here that is interesting. When you go inside of the settings and underneath the software update, this is where you wanna go through and update your phone. And you can see that I have a new one sitting there. And again, it's October 9th. But take a look at this one. The last update that we did right here was just a few days ago. It was on October 5th and I did that one in the morning. This was the one that was a little bit larger, over 400 megabytes and ending in the, the BTIF. So this one's just one more beyond. I don't know what they've changed. But again, after I did that update on the Galaxy S20 just four days ago, when you do go inside of your Samsung uh, folder, inside of the Galaxy store, you'll probably take a look and notice, especially with the video that was just updated, that there was a bunch of different updates. So I don't see anything in here as of right now. And then also too, let's take a look inside of Goodlock. I don't really see anything that is new or different or updated other than Navstar. So what we'll do is after this updates, we'll take a look at both of those areas just to see if there's anything else that can be added in. I also wrote down the versions of multiple things, the, the camera, Samsung messages, the gallery biometrics, just to see if there's anything else that got updated. This one is something small, so I don't really expect too much to come from this one, but again, this one's only four days later, so you might as well go right back in, see if you have an update. It doesn't matter which Samsung phone you have, just always take a look every you know five days just to see if there's something there. This one's just talking about the security of your device has been improved. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information about these brand new software updates, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. And also, if you are a returning guest of this channel, you might as well hit on that subscribe button because YouTube is telling me about 81% of you watching this video are not subscribed. So after a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, I found out that this little small update that's right around 200 megabytes, so this one's at 209, uh, this one was pushed out for the Galaxy S20 right now today, uh, and the Galaxy Note 20 is going to be super soon, probably the next few days, uh, maybe sometime early next week. But the small update is to help you with battery life improvement, it's going to help with the improvement and enhancing of dark mode, uh, and then as well as an improvement with the camera. So even though we might not see any changes with applications and additions to good lock and things like that. Those are the three improvements. Why they didn't put it here, I don't know, uh, but that was what I was able to find out and dig out with a little bit of research. Again, it's the updates. That's right around 200 megabytes, which is also why with the last update, that was about four or five days ago with the Galaxy S20. Uh, they weren't really able to get this one in or it wasn't ready, so they pushed out the second update. So there we go, guys. The software update is done and complete. So let's first head inside of the Galaxy store just to see if there's anything that was added in. And it doesn't look like there was anything brought in for any type of updates. But again, we just updated, at least on my phone here just the other day, 11 different applications. Uh, then let's also go right inside of GoodLock just to see if there's any new modules added in. So it doesn't look like there's any updates, uh, no new modules. The Navstar is actually still there. Wonderland, Theme Park, Nice Catch. So all of these are still there uh, again. So nothing's really changed. And my guess is that it's just gonna be the uh, the security of the device just kind of got a little bit of an improvement. But let's first go inside of the phone. Let's just see if there's a change with this one. So originally it was 11, 5, 3, 14. So it looks like this one is sitting at the same thing for the phone. Now if we go inside of the Samsung messages, let's see if there's a new version for that one. Let's go inside of the app info. And right here, uh, originally we had 11, 5, 10, 3, 1, 3. And this one looks like it's the exact same. Now let's go inside of the gallery. Again, just to see if there's any newer versions. Uh, then with this one over here, originally it was 11, 5, 2, 4. Uh, that one looks like to be the exact same. For the Galaxy Store itself, just to see if there was a newer version. The app info here originally was uh, 4, 5, 207 so this one looks like the exact same here for that one as well and then for samsung notes uh, this one was 40065 and this one's the exact same now we do need to go inside of the biometrics so usually when you take a look at that one you go to biometrics and security uh, then you go to the biometrics security patch so for the very top it was 50022 
So that looks the same. And then face recognition was 11030. So this one is also the exact same. So it was a very, very, very small update. Uh, but what it did do was it did bring in the October patch. So let's go through and let me show you that it shows the October patch. So scrolling down all the way, you can see here that we do have the Android security patch level of October 1st. Now, originally when I updated this about four days ago, it did not bring me the October 1st patch. It still said September 1st on it, which was pretty interesting. I didn't even shoot a video for that. I showed you an update that my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra did, and then now the Galaxy S20 was able to receive it. So if you own the S20, the S20 Plus, the S20 Ultra, the Note 20, the Note 20 Ultra, you might want to take a look. You might have only had either one or two updates, but again, that is two updates for the unlocked Galaxy S20 two updates within the last four days. Now that just means that they are really getting ready for Samsung One UI 3.0 that should be coming out soon. Again, a lot of people always ask, when does it come out? And it should be coming out, my guess is at the end of the beta period, which usually lasts six or eight weeks. So we should be seeing Samsung One UI 3.0 sometime in the very end of November or the very beginning of December. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.